Hey guys, I'm Burning Dog Face, and today we're going to be taking a look at Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. This is a bit of an odd one. I was gifted this uh, just a couple weeks ago by my friend Spartan Demon, so hey, shout out and thank you. I believe it's still in early access, technically hasn't come out yet, but uh, the idea here is that, uh, well, if you're not familiar with it, Deep Rock Galactic, with no subtitle, is a multiplayer first-person game where you play as a squad of space dwarves who descend to a hostile yet resource-rich uh, uh, planet in order to mine for valuable minerals and kill the bugs that come out of the dark and try to eat you. And then get back to the extraction point before, you know, the never-ending spawns of bugs kill you. Uh, this is that, except it's isometric instead of first person, and, uh, and it's been balanced for one player. So, uh, this should be very interesting. I guess I'll go with the Crystalline Caverns, because everything else is locked. Crystalline Caverns, here I come! Biome goals, complete the dive, upgrade Deep Core GK2 to level 12, and collect 200 gold. Let's see how Hazard 1 feels. I'm going to mention that the moment I got to this screen for the first time, I unlocked uh, an achievement. Run for the hills! Unlock the scout. The scout, the most nimble of dwarves, the scout relies on long-range weapons and increased mobility to faster explore and escape the dangers of Hoxis 4. Max HP 120, dodge 5%, critical chance 5%, critical damage 200%. So, uh, hey, let's take a look. Uh, classic, and then two locked options, since I don't have any other class options. So sure, classic, plus 10% move speed, plus 20 max HP, and I guess the deep core GK2 is this gun, the fairly straightforward assault rifle that shoots in bursts, targets nearest enemy, or closest enemy. It's a strange thing to say. Deals kinetic damage. Scout classic for me! This is it. Either the dreadnought goes or we oh. send in another dwarf. My automatic own in there. Make it count. Or <laughs> we send in another dwarf. Okay, the bugs are already here. And I'm already- I'm automatically shooting as I come close to them. I guess that's what it means by target's closest enemy. Although I need to wait to reload the bar there at the bottom. Okay, let's get some minerals or shoot these guys. It's just me and this little suitcase robot. Level up. Oh hey, Titan Springs plus 15% fi uh, fire rate. Loosen bolts, plus 25% reload speed. Bigger cogs, plus 10% damage. I think I'll go with the one labeled rare. Plus 25% reload speed, increase weapon level by one. Loosen those bolts. Really rare. Feels oh god. I don't know what all these cubes are. Ah! Need to have any melee attack to start. Much crap in the way. Supplies can't land. Clear it out, miner. I see it on the map. Okay. Dig straight through. Oh, uh. Plus 30% pickup radius, plus 25% reload speed again. Mind blowing. Plus 55% critical damage. I'm already at 200% for that. So I'm going to go with pocket magnets and increase my pickup radius. Oh god, that's a hmm, that's a fair amount of small but worrying bugs. And we're running. Oh god, dig through the wall. Yeah, that I am aware of. That uh. Oh god. Maybe I'm gonna give myself some more move speed! Uh, you know what? No, no, no. I should probably go with more fire rate since I do have better reloading now. Plus 15% fire rate, tighten those springs. Increase weapon level by one. I just became a better warrior. Have to hit a button on these? No. 
Oh, I see. The more of these assholes I kill, the closer I, the more I, uh, fill up that, or drain that thing at the bottom. Oh, a new weapon. Let's see. Cryo grenades. A grenade that deals moderate damage and slows enemies deals cold damage. Jury rigged boomstick. Close, close range shotgun that deals massive damage and knocks back enemies. Target's closest enemy. That does sound good. Zukov Nuki 7. A uh, quick firing weapon that shoots in four directions deals kinetic damage. I'm going to go with a shotgun. Oh, I don't even have to switch between them. As soon as those bars are full, he just shoots. Oh, they're getting bigger. Get more of these, I guess, orbs. Ooh, minerals. Get out of there before they all corner me! Ah! Increases the chance to get a critical hit. Increases move speed by 2%. Extra padding. Plus 6 armor. Increases resistance to all sources of damage. I'm going to do that. Oh boy. This guy just turned into lots of orbs. That's shiny. Bismar. Oh no. Oh god. I'm going to get around the swarm real quick. Oh, that one blew up. Basically, walk through that wall. Kill the elite Mac Terra. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's you. I'm running. Just for kiting these guys around while the guns take care of everything by themselves. That's kind of funny. I don't think that's at all how the main game works. I should note that I don't really have the multiplayer uh, gaming group for a game like Deep Rock Galactic, so I've only watched videos of people playing that. I, you know, that's why I was uh, excited to take a look at this. Get, a, get an experience of it myself. Huh. More damage. More damage, I think. 10% weapon damage. Bigger cogs. Oh no. What are you shooting at over there? Oh no, there's dudes on this side too. Okay, I made it through. I took a detour through the wall. Let's get all these uh, shiny things. damage over time from acid, electrical, and fire. I don't have any of those things. Titan Springs again. Plus 25% fire rate increases weapon level by one. I'm gonna go with that. I rarely pick one of these. Excuse me. Pardon me. I don't know if I'm supposed to push a button on that or if I'm just being dumb or if all the Deep Rock Galactic players are face palming right now. I feel like it's going okay. The aliens grow stronger. Get to the drop pod in 30 seconds. Should have picked that movement speed after all. Uh, uh re reload speed. Fuck yeah. Oh, twist 10% damage of all your weapons, huh? Faster reloading or more damage? Plus 10% damage is a lot. Okay, more damage. I rarely go for this one. Ah! Uh. Oh god. Get in there. Get back in the pod. Diving deeper. Taking you to stage two. Stage two? What if I got 29 health? Paint job. Let's you imagine your weapon is now a lot prettier. Increase weapon level by three. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, bigger cogs, plus 35% damage. Epic does sound good. Uh... Nah, fuck it, Lucent. Oh, I see! They're for the specific guns. That's why they're the same one. How many of those do I have? Not enough for a healing, or in fact for any of these upgrades, as I look, since I need to pay with the red stuff. I don't seem to have any of. Great. All right.
right. Let me guess. If I hit this, you're not going to give it to me on credit, huh? Too broke. Should have asked for a raise. Fair. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Okay, I'll just go get myself killed and then try again. Load up and get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. Draw out the elite. No, I'm never getting used to this smell. I would imagine giant bugs smell fairly poor on the inside, yes. Kill these guys and fill the meter. Let's chill right here. Oh no, there's water here. Well, that's just a cliff, I see. Uh, uh, being indecisive. I really like how the already cracked stone you can basically just walk through without slowing down because he just. I should note, I'm not pushing anything to make him swing his uh, pickaxe. Yeah, that's just, uh... Big swarm is approaching. Oh no. Oh, there's so many of them! The surface is too packed for the supply pod to land. Please clear it. Excuse me. Pardon me. Why are they attacking my robot? Maybe they really hate the smell of dwarves. Oh, I had to clear this whole thing. Is that... Oh. Why did that guy blow up? Why are they blowing up? Ah, oh, well. Chris, scout rank. Uh, oh, they're experience for the scout class. So there is progression in this game. That's good. It's not just a straight roguelike. And I did get some bismore from those things I broke. Mini elites killed one. Elites killed one. Bosses killed zero. That's worrying. Uh, Nitra collected zero. Red sugar collected. That must be that thing I needed. Keep an eye out for that. Well, let's try that again. I've also noticed these milestones you get for doing stuff. Like if you reach 300 max HP, you get a BLT ration pack. Oh, that's just a sandwich, isn't it? <laughs> Each cl uh, class rank 9 on the driller, and your reward is an interrogator class mod. Good stuff. Uh, upgrades in here. Oh, and I can use the resources I keep in order to make permanent upgrades, like increasing my damage by 4% forever. What do we got here? Increase your movement speed, decreases the amount of damage you take from all sources, increases your XP gain. That, should, that seems like one to invest in early. Increases your max HP. I notice I can't afford any of these yet, because I only have 225C. Reload speed, mining speed, more likely to get higher rarity upgrades. Oh, right! Yeah, the, uh, the cards it gives me when I level up. Kind of reminds me of uh, that game I played where I was Nikola Tesla. That's right, Tesla versus Lovecraft. Uh, pocket magnets, I can just uh, put points into that from out here. First aid kit increases your life regeneration. Zero to one. That's a good one. Mm -mm -mm. Tasty. First aid kit. Mind-blowing increases the damage bonus of your critical hits. What's down here? Oh, I see. Mineral market. Oh, I can trade these for others. Let's just jump back in, since I haven't unlocked anything Crystalline specific. Caverns, my favorite. By um, goals, it looks like I unlock stuff if I complete a successful dive. Upgrade the gun to level 12, or get 200 gold. I want to note, by the way, while things are still less crazy, that I'm kind of surprised it opens with the drop... I guess the driller pods from the main game, because from the title, you know, Survivor, I was actually absolutely expecting this to be, you were sent down with a squad. It was supposed to be an easy run. Now everyone is dead except you, and you still need to complete the mission and get to extraction alive. Hope I can handle Hazard 1. I'm gonna go ahead and guess the guy with the mining helmet on is the driller. Although I do love that this guy over here has a trucker hat on. Yeah, the the scout dwarf. Uh, long red beard. Blue mesh suit. Leather boots, gloves, and uh, belt with some sacks on it. And for some reason he's wearing a DBZ scouter. With two little prongs sticking out the back of his head. I am mentioning this because, of course, there are uh, visually impaired people who watch my channel, or listen to my channel. That was really poor choice of words. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm 
gonna keep it classic. It's dreadnought time, miner. Okay. Destroy it. Uh, I'm not shooting these guys. I guess these are harmless. Bismore, Bismore, I think it was. Uh, I'm gonna start with more reload speed. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. At first I thought that might be the guy who voiced Raz from Psychonauts, but I don't think so. I remember that dude's name. Damn, it's on the tip of my tongue. He also plays Moxie on, uh, Hell of a boss. Fast little legs, move speed, increases how fast you can move. Careful. Aim. Yes, more move speed does seem good. I will try that out and... I don't even... I, oh, yeah, I can feel it, actually. Just a little bit. Oh, so when it gets to the skulls in the middle, it triggers the swarm. That's right, okay. Let's try and clear this all out. Oh, I see! Yeah, that's not the beacon there. It's just, no, that is just a beacon. It's not the thing that I need to do here. So I need to empty this circle. Yeah, let's try that. The nice thing is, all the stone is holding these assholes back. We're gonna try the Zukov, the quick firing weapon that shoots in four directions. Especially since I don't have to aim them. Two guns, one for each. Ah! Ooh. Holy fuck! Uh, more damage, hell yeah. Alright, we move out of the way. Get all these assholes away from the beacon! Oh no. The meter is almost full. Oh, there's no goodness in that crystal. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go ahead. <coughs> oh no! Not Terra, that was the same one that appeared last time. Okay. Oh, I like the reflections in the crystals, that's really cool. Granted on level up, clipboard of grudges, gain XP when you take damage. Dwarves are famous for holding grudges for like thousands of years, passed down from father to son. Here is our family book of grudges. It is your duty to hate all of these people. At least it's a Warhammer thing. I'm sure that's what that's a reference to, the book of grudges. Uh, XP scanner, you get a small chance to find XP in mining any kind of rock. Uh, let's go with the Vitaminer pills and see if I heal any when I level up. I go for this one. Oh, yes, and. Yeah, more damage from that gun. Just the upgrade I was looking for. Oh, I see. That was the, the, the supply thing. The weird item upgrade it gave me, as opposed to, like, an upgrade upgrade. I didn't even see the Mac Terra. Well no, don't leave the robot behind. I don't know what he does, but I probably need him. Learn on the job increases the XP gained during a dive. I assume that means one of these dips into the caves. Uh, 
Sure, let's upgrade the, uh, the, the Zukov by two levels. And I imagine that the weapon... Let's you imagine your weapon is now a lot prettier. Oh, I don't know about that. I would probably make it some really garish combination of neon colors myself. <laughs> Stand out in the dark more. Oh, shit, right, I need to pay for these. Uh, in that case... How's my health? Actually, pretty good, so I will try this getting lucky one instead. Increases the chance to roll higher rarities of upgrades, I guess. This will help me work harder! And work to be done. False alarm, the robot's already here. All is well. Onboard entertainment sucks. <laughs> the onboard entertainment sucks. I like that. Uh offensive chemistry. Increases all damage over time from elements I do not have. I'm gonna go sure. Increases the XP gain during a dive. Learn on the job. I wonder if the line, I don't normally pick this one, is meant to indicate that I probably shouldn't be picking that one as the scout. Give me that sugar. That came out weird. I mean, it's called red sugar. What am I supposed to say? Oh, more healing crystals. Cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. What's this? Ow. All right, all right, all right. Magnite. Swarm's heading your way. Load up. I wonder if Magnite is magnetic, or if it just sounds like it should be. The only element I remember from the main game, I think the videos I've seen, was called Morkite. And I only remember that. So because it sounds more like, uh... Something that orcs would, be, would want, not, uh... Dwarves, given that uh, Mork is one of the Orcish gods in Warhammer. Mork and Orc. Uh, Mork and Gork, that's what it is. It's, don't ask uh, Orcs which one is which, or you'll start a holy war. I believe the usual logic is that one is brutally cunning, and the other one is cunningly brutal are, uh, like that. Especially in Warhammer. So they're taking big swimmy circles. Stay in the circle. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Free level up. Extra rations increases how much damage you can take before dying. Straight up just gives me 20 more max HP. Uh, not a bad idea. I usually go for upgrades to my critical chance. Although that gun could also use a damage upgrade. Upgrade your weapon to level 12 to unlock powerful overclocks. Okay. Alright, uh... I might regret this, but I'm going to put more damage on the Zukov. It does uh, seem to reload pretty decently. I feel quite alive. Swarm detected. Get ready. We'll be with you shortly. Sometimes the robot shoots, sometimes it doesn't. I can't seem to use the right stick to, like, aim as if it's a dual joystick shooter. Like, I can't focus the fire. No, it just does everything. Well, not that I could focus the fire with a Zukov if I wanted to. It shoots in the four cardinal directions at once. Somebody shoot that guy! Oh my god, are these the kind of numbers they have to work with in the main game? This is madness. Oh, I need to get out of here. Oh boy. Oh, there's so many of them. Kill the elite Praetorian. Oh, you're real big! I'm barely doing any damage to him at all because he's big and heavy in armor. 
like a beetle with those big fat arms. It was looking. I think each of those fat front arms is uh, the size of my entire body. I'm making poor decisions. Oh. Ah! Thank God. Uh, now I'm definitely going to go for extra rations and increase my max HP. Maybe it'll give me 20 on top of the health I already have. It did! Games never do that. It just increases your max health without increasing your current health. This is great. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a dead end. No! Oh, my God. Look at them all. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. I noticed that. No! Well, I was hoping to uh, finish the episode on the, like, next level screen. Secondary objectives unlocked. Collected 100 gold. Now even more work per hour worked. What? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I see! Sorry, I collected gold, and I have unlocked secondary objectives. Like, the idea of having secondary objectives, as opposed to you have completed your secondary objectives. Okay, that could have been clearer. Even more work per hour worked. I did 95,000 damage with the Deep Core rifle that time. I didn't even upgrade it as high as the first time. Acid, fire, cold, kinetic, electrical, plasma. I killed three mini elites, though, so that feels good. Upgrades! What do we got here? Ah, I can afford some of them now. Which one did I want to go? Life regeneration. I need another one of those red things. I'll hold on to it for that, because that seems real goddamn good. Well. I'm Burning Dogface, and this has been my very first look at Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. I picked up the, uh... The, I think they call it the gameplay loop pretty quickly. I'm enjoying it so far and having a good time. I'm definitely going to be looking at more of this. So I'll see you next time. When we keep checking things out. Later!